This is the Amazon total cost ownership calculator. Let it refresh for you guys. I'm just waiting. Yeah, this is, is the tool quite often people use for comparing your on-premise infrastructure to an Amazon uh, instance types. I'm um, just going to input some basic values here. Let, uh, let me keep it as US dollars. We can change it to Indian rupees also if you want. So I am going to say I am uh, invested in my on-premise data center. That is, I have my own data center. I have my own cabling, cooling and everything. But if you are on a co-location data center, then you choose this option for having a proper uh, cost comparison. So let us do the first one when you are doing the demo. So I am going to leave it as uh, Mumbai you now. Is Mumbai is available? If it is not available, I will just change it to US dollars then. We will stay, stick with all American. So here, I, when I scroll down, I am going to uh, fill in the server type. First, let us talk about a non-DB server that is a web server, for example. And let us say my web server is running web only. And the number of VMs that I am running for that is, let us say I am running three VMs. And each of my VMs are having four cores. And each of my instances are going to say, let us say I am having four GB of RAM and the hypervisor is VMware and the guest operating system is Linux. Let us leave it as this. So let me just scroll down and it is asking me how much of storage I have attached to my web servers. So for web, I am not going to give much of storage, hardly about let us say 30 GB disks are there. I am going to change it to 2 GB. So I'm going to add one more row now because I want to add my database servers now. Let us say I'm going to have two DB servers for high availability in on-premises and let us say I'm going to have eight CPU, eight cores that means and about eight GB of RAM. I mean you need to most probably input the exact values that you're running. I'm just imagining a, a web server and a DB server architecture and inputting the values here and you can choose your Oracle license or MySQL license. Let us say MySQL only because uh, that is open source and you pay only for your uh, license uh, support fees for Oracle and support fees for Red Hat here. And I'm going to add one more line which is for my database instances and I'm going to say my databases are having about one terabyte of data. So that is it. I go ahead and click on Calculate TCO, that is calculate the total cost of ownership. Amazon is uh, having standard industry standardized uh, average values for running servers on on-premises, co-location, and if you are running uh, Oracle. So they just take those values and uh, calculate a rough estimate of cost. And of course, you see a huge number here when compared to uh, Amazon to on-premises. Uh, not exactly you get the same benefit, but <clears throat> you have uh, you have a possibility to reduce your cost once you move to the cloud. They have a detailed report at the bottom. Let us look into that now. This is a three-year breakdown. Amazon says if you are going to run the instances for three years, this is going to be a storage, a server cost, storage cost, and network cost. And IT labor is what Amazon says quite often you are not going to do because the on-premise data center is not managed by you, maintained by you when you go to AWS. Whereas your storage cost stays there and server cost stays there and network it depends upon where you are accessing it from. If it is within your VPC or VPC traffic will be free but if it is outside internet traffic then you will have a value here. So you have to look at these numbers very carefully when you recommend it to a client or something when this talk to this report because we have not talked about uh, doing a VPN connection or adding any resiliency or backup here. I have just given a one terabyte storage. That means that I have not considered my backup cost, DR cost, and all those things. But it gives you a, gives you a rough idea and comparison of what instances that you can run. For example, the three web servers that I am running, Amazon says I can run a, a C3 X large server, whereas for the database it says that a T2 large is enough to meet my demand, and it also says that. Go for three years partial upfront reserve instances. 
So like that, there is a complete breakdown of the cost. You scroll down, you get everything here and the calculations and methodology is also explained. I mean, it is not explained in a great detail, but some amount of information is provided for you for the calculation cost. For example, the racking and the virtualization cost and all those things. You can do it anytime. This is a public tool and you can compare it and uh, have a PDF of that report by downloading it. You have the download option at the top. You can download the PDF and share it with your customers also for having it validated and approved. So you have this support cost also included. Amazon says that there is a $17 of support cost included in your account. So it's quite exhaustive, but it is not a final report. This is not the best uh, comparison that you get, but it gets you going. It is a very good indication of uh, where to start with when you are looking at a cost comparison or a server comparison levels. So that's all is here for total cost calculator. Uh, there might be a question here but uh, not regularly and interviews they don't ask you about this. Are we clear about total cost calculator? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm not able to open the other window to stop the recording. Strange.